PUBG and Fortnite are competitive rivals of the battle royale genre, helping elevate it to the mainstream culture. Pretty much everyone knows about the aforementioned games already, so let's compare them and see which one's better. Both games appear and act very similar to each other from a mechanical perspective, such as a rough estimate of map and player size, but that's kind of where they end. There are slight differences, like the type of weapons and the actual size of the map, one being a lot smaller and thus not having nor requiring a vehicle, and yet there's one small aspect in their design that when put into closer inspection appealed to two very different players, who I've dubbed neutral and chaotic. Let's pause for a second to understand the tone of the games at hand. PUBG isn't a race to get the most kills, but rather a sprint towards survival. The game tasks you to be defensive, as your character can't take a lot of shots and as you can get flanked at any moment, asking you instead of actively hunting for players, to first find cover, a good vantage point, a good place to blend in. It's a thriller. One whose feelings especially held when you move in closer towards one another and find out that there's people within that small radius, further elevating that tension until... Payoff. It reminds me of games similar to Tetris, where it begins with a little interest, slowly raising the stakes, and by the time you're invested, the game has sped up to the point where there's a lot of time and hope that's riding on those hopes of success. Fortnite, while mechanically having a lot of these similarities, manages to change the tone completely with one small aspect in their design. Building. In PUBG, the goal has always been to make sure that you're not out in the clear, being low on the ground, blending into the environment, finding cover. In Fortnite, if you can't find cover, you make it. So the goal has shifted from being a neutral survivor to being a chaotic defensive and even offensive player. If you're in or even out of combat, the thought process has always been to build. And those who don't follow the model will be doomed to fail, or at least will be more likely to fail. Near the end of matches where the player and map size has shrunken down, we begin to see this process spiral into effect. As most set up defense, it changes the playstyle from a priority in survival to an interest in resource management and building reinforcements. Having that aspect of survival in the background, yet not having to be as worried because you've got yourself covered. Where PUBG focuses more on your survival, where you are, and whether you're visible, Fortnite focuses on how well you can hit your opponent by possibly destroying their cover, and by extension, their vantage point. Looking at the trailers, this is visible. PUBG sells itself on a fight for survival where you can die at any time. Fortnite says, let's have a fun time playing video games. That's noticeable everywhere from the art style, to mechanics, to even the promotional stuff. And that's not a bad thing. The weird thing here is that I'm being tasked with comparing both apples to apples and apples to oranges here. They're both different and very similar for very distinct reasons. One argument that's constantly talked about is that one came beforehand, case closed, but that's the better game. But is that really the only reason to pick one over another? I mean, even PUBG was once a modded version of DayZ, and we're of course pretending that these are the first Royale games when, in reality, they're not. What's interesting is that when we look at any given genre, we can see them starting from one singular idea that's gradually expanding over time until it no longer looks like the original. That can be said for any medium. Everything that we saw was just a thing from the past that's been made newer by altering ideas. I think PUBG and Fortnite, while not being completely original themselves, do offer something to the genre that hasn't been seen before. As for which one do I think is better? Be along the lines of, does it matter? Does it answer the question?